Hello and welcome. Today we have a Milwaukee M185 Ampere battery. And if you press the button, there's no indication of any power in the battery. And if we put it on the uh, multimeter, it's somehow showing 20.1 volts, which is a full charge. So we try it on a drill, won't even light the LED, but there's a curious thing about this one, if I put it on the charger, the charger will show a full charge, and then after I take it off, it has reset the board, and it works, but if I leave this sitting for a length of time, it'll revert to its original state it was at the start. So I'm going to live it a few, maybe live it a couple of hours and see what it does now. Here we are, half an hour later, it's reverted to the same issue. So we'd have to repeat the process if we wanted to use that battery. That's not practical in the real world. If you go and charge your battery fully like that, take it out to the job site to do a bit of work and I'm not working unless you have a charger to reset it, so it doesn't make any sense. I'm going to get into it and I'm going to show you how to fix this. We do know this is fully charged. Um, so the cells are going to be all equal or near enough equally full. So we don't have to worry about that. We're going to just have to open it and check for little breaks or something like that there. You know, we're going to have to try that. Right, with the battery open, we have to check for bad connections there at the top. And get it out of this here, which might be easier said than done, but it's all right. Um, check if any of those have detached, because they can do. And there's one more side there. Some of those little spot welds can give way. And it's fairly obvious if they do, you know. Plus here, these can give way as well these little connectors here need to be careful what I'm doing maybe might be advisable but it's got the point across that these aren't broken so what we're going to have to do is remove the board and put on a copy board some of these uh, little ones I get from my friends in China you know what I show you they're a different colour, but it should remedy the problem. I'll just desolder these four connections here. Right, it's time to put the new one on now.
Very good. Down nice and flush. I'll put a bit of hot glue in here in this, just to keep it right. And just put it all together now and see what we have. I think we'll leave it sitting for half an hour to see if it's still illuminating. So here we are, we've given it a good half an hour, all's good. And I'm calling that fixed. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and check out my channel for all my other videos.